So real quick before we start the video, just want to talk about Field Pulse. If you're a HVAC electrical or plumbing business owner and you're looking for reliable, easy to use software, go to the link that's in the description below this video and the people at Field Pulse will be happy to go through a demo with you showing you all the different features and all the different ways that this software can greatly improve your business. Thanks again to Field Pulse for sponsoring HVAC Tech Tips. What's up guys? All right, so got a little bit of a different um, type of unit we're gonna be working on today. This is a Friedrich Vert Pack. So it's uh, similar to a PTAC, but it actually stands vertical. Gonna have to replace a dual motor. So it's one motor and it has a shaft coming off both ends um, that runs the condenser fan and the blower wheel. So um, these things have really limited access. So we're actually gonna be replacing the wheel for the blower as well, cause it had broken into a million pieces. Gonna be interesting, um, something you don't see every day for sure. So let's get started. All right, so this is the actual blower wheel. Sort of interesting because it does have this, the screw you have to tighten down and it looks like you have to go through this slot that's opened here, but that's gonna take a really long Allen wrench. I don't know if I even have one that long. It's sort of a sort of a weird deal with this one, but hopefully we'll be able to figure it out once we get up here. But these wheels are plastic and they uh, they do have a really cheap feel to them. It feels like you could break off one of these fins super easy. So we'll have to be really careful with that. And then this is that motor I was talking about. We're going to go in and check this thing out. So this one has a a little lock you have to undo. You have to open with an Allen wrench. So there's not like a actual access door that you can remove on these. This is your electrical panel here. We can take that off, but all of your, your motors and components are underneath right here. So as you can see, there's screws that goes around and also on the top. It looks like we'll probably have to pull this out at least enough to try to get all of our screws out we'll also we'll be removing this duct get some access from here but not enough so we're gonna have to try to remove this whole top and luckily it does have a union right here for this copper drain so we'll be disconnecting that that way we will be able to to move this thing a little more freely it looks like all the Silicone has been broken loose for the most part. So once we get that union disconnected, we should be able just to pull it. All right, so we got that disconnected, got the duct off. Let's go ahead and we'll remove this electrical panel. And that's gonna be where your thermostat wire is, your control board, your relays for the uh, strip heat. All of that's gonna be in this panel. Typically you would have this plug that's in right here. You just, you have to remove that to be able to get this panel off as well. And as you can see, and this is the rest of it. So we may have to disconnect this and unwire it. Just depends on how much clearance we really need. That's not too bad. And all of our stuff's gonna be inside here. Just a screw on each corner on this side. So we're gonna attempt to just take this whole top off and we'll see how it goes. Now you should be able to see that blower wheel just went to pieces down here. Now, what else has to be done? I think I may try to take this whole shroud off right here. It just seems like it would give me a little better access. And it's got the shroud off, um, and then I have this the strip heat held up with some zip ties just to get it out of the way. So next thing I'm going to do is we're going to undo this clamp here and get this uh, the fan off. And then we'll do the same thing on this side and get that. Looks like someone has actually replaced it with a screw. So we're gonna take that out, take this pin out, and we should be able to, to slide both wheels, the wheel and the, the fan off of each end. And then it's just gonna be um, unbolting the motor mount. Before we do that, we can go ahead and unwire it. 
So we'll follow this back in. Yeah, so it's going up through here and going to the back of this board. So when you do one of these, just be prepared to practically take apart the whole unit. Right, there's that. So now it's just gonna be getting these wheels off and uh, the mount. I have just about took this whole unit apart. Okay, got that. It's gonna take a really long Allen wrench to get through that. Also be really tricky to get to anyways. So I'm just gonna take these, the two screws on this side and that side. All right, so I got those four screws out. This thing also has a ground wire, that yellow wire down there, you have to take off a screw that's bolted to the floor. Got that to set over by itself a little more. My goodness. Before you try doing, removing that wheel, make sure that you don't try to pry it because it will snap that wheel. So this is all one single shaft and it's connected so I was able to grab my channel locks on this side and that keeps that shaft from spinning. And then you can just get that wheel and wiggle it back and forth and pull that way to get it to, it will eventually work its way off. It's just gonna be a little time consuming. Let's see if we can get this motor out and then I'll clean out all those pieces in that housing. All right, so here it is. I hadn't opened the box yet, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna take the motor out and it's gonna go back on this brace. But I'm gonna have to go get a shot back, finish getting all that out where it was just grinding away on that plastic wheel for a long period of time. And yeah, like I expected, you have to put the mount on it. Just remove these screws. It's gonna be just the Just the bigger screws that stays base you have is makes it incredibly hard to get to it would be so much better if you could fit through right here this is going to be the hard part yeah there's no way you could do this without having that motor loose until you get both wheels on after a very long time of struggling i was able to get this on now the even harder part is going to be getting that screw tightened. Go ahead and bolt this thing down first. And we got this ground wire we got to put back in place. Don't forget when you're putting this wheel on, you have to have a gap here so this thing isn't scrubbing. And you're just going to have to push these in and out until you get them right in the right spot where you don't hear any any type of scrubbing like I got. Just like that. So we're gonna clamp it in place right there. Here, and then we're gonna figure this out. Oh. So yes, I'm back in the van, messing with that thing way too long, trying to work around having to have that, that long Allen wrench to get in there. So I'm assuming it's gonna need some type of T-handle, like a long T-handle Allen wrench. So I'm just gonna have to give up and go, go get one. So I'm gonna run to Home Depot, get that. That'll make my life a lot easier. And then we'll finish getting this thing put back together. All right, so it's uh, 5.32nd. That's the one you need. One at least this long or longer will work. Um, but 532nd in SAE or four in a millimeter. All right, 
right, so before I get this top on it, I got all this put back together. It was definitely a pain in the butt. I'm gonna kick this thing on before I put the top on and make sure all, all of it sounds good and looks good. Just came on. All right, so I got it up against the wall. I'm gonna re-silicone it. I'm gonna connect our uh, union right here and got everything else wired up. Just gonna put this uh, cover back on, duct on, and we'll be good to go. Everything's working good. The, um, that was definitely more work than I thought it was going to be for sure. Um, clocked in at about three and a half, close to four hours. Um, Might have got done 45 minutes or so sooner if I wasn't filming the whole thing. But uh, either way, it's always going to be a royal pain in the butt to do one of these. It's always going to be a challenge. So I hope, uh, hope you all enjoyed this one. I really appreciate you all watching. Uh, if you like the content that, that we're putting out, please like, subscribe. I hope y'all enjoyed, and we'll see you at the next video. Peace.